Good morning, guys. So, as you see, the hatch is gone and the hydraulic gang plank. And uh, there's the rub rails, and then one of the tables from top decks. Most of those fiberglass structures from up there have been removed. Here's a pile of wood that we're going to burn. Hopefully get more stainless screws out of it after burning it. There's way more inside, we'll go inside in a bit. Uh, stanchion bases. They weren't too hard to remove actually. But fortunately the nut was epoxied on the inside. Uh, what was left of the rails. Yeah, you can't really see. There's a lot underneath there, but there's a whole load of teak there. And over here is even more teak. Nearly all of that is solid teak trim, which is great. There's the hatch. That's quite a pain in the ass. This was even heavier though, but we used the forklift to lift it up here after we'd dragged it to the edge from the swim platform over there. So, lots of small pieces still to remove. There is some more pieces of solid teak in amongst all this. This is a fiberglass laminate uh, with teak veneer, which is actually in okay condition. So we're probably going to keep that. Along with this granite countertop, I think I can make use of that. There's more of that over there. And I'm um, in the process of removing all this stuff here. Oh yeah, this fridge is... Uh, on the outside is stainless steel sheet, which I want. It's covered with uh, vinyl uh, fabric type stuff, but I can remove that and to use the um, stainless underneath. It's like a half millimeter or something. It'll be really useful for something. And yeah, um, Rustin, who's the guy that salvaged this, is busy cutting the top off here. See, he's, cut, he's got um, basically a pontoon somewhere else and he's going to be using this as a top for the pontoon and make a workspace for himself. Uh, we're going to be cutting here so this part will stay and this part will be removed. And that cut goes all the way along there you can see. Uh, that hole there was also part of it. So, uh, and the plan with that is when we take it out and sink it, we'll give buoyancy to this top part and um, basically float it off. Then we, when we get over to his pontoon, we'll sink the pontoon and raise the pontoon up beneath this and then we don't have to pay for a crane for any part of the process, which is always good. We've got time, but not many. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Bye-bye.